There's the roar for the Wallabies. Looking to break a drought against New Zealand dating back to Sydney 2008. They lost to the All Blacks by just one point in Sydney last month, so the gap has closed. They've won just one of their last five tests, so it's time to turn things around less than a year out from the Rugby World Cup in New Zealand. First of five tests on tour, a Grand Slam attempt follows as Richie McCaw leads the men in black out onto Hong Kong Stadium. They've got England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales to come. They've already won the Tri-Nations in 2010 and the Bledders Low Cup, which they've now won for eight years in a row. Genia, Pocock, now quick hands, chance here, chance, Cooper, down it goes, try to Australia, Craig Cooper, reward for dominating possession early on in this test match. One by Sharp and down to Genia, now Cooper, flat pass, straight through goes Adam Ashley Cooper, where's the support, a big one, Adam Ashley Cooper will score! Do that. No one tackled it until after he scored. I think it was Kenny who was the only one who made a hand on it. Quade Cooper, Adam Ashley Cooper, there's two decoy runners inside him, splits him, but this is the sidestep that's a beauty for him to be able to recover full speed. It was only Brad Thorne. No one could handle him until Genia hit him high. Oh, who did he run through? Ma uh, non I didn't see who was outside him. It might have been uh, Carter, in fact. Yeah, it was. And then he stepped around Corey Jane beautifully until Will Genia makes the tackle at the end. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's high too. But the support arrive. Now they go through Kano. He's pulled down a metre out. All Blacks on the charge. McCaw lays it back. Now it's Rokofoko. They need it wide. He goes on his own. Cowan! Brilliant! Jimmy Cowan and New Zealand score between the sticks. They're just edging further forward. Carter gives it to Thorne on the inside. Good tackle, Chisholm. Four phases, 25 metres progress by the All Blacks. Franks, Nonu. And again. Yeah, Cooper couldn't hold on. Oh, he got out of the way. Mialamu. Got a wide ball read. And he's got a winger on the outside and the All Blacks are going to score, are they? Yes. Corey Jane, two tries in a flash. And we're locked up at 12-all, kick to come. Starting to warm up. I'll be on the field before too long. Carter. Now Conrad Smith and all oh, the hands it goes and they've got three over on the far side and back on the inside is McCaw. Again he got through tackles and Richie McCaw almost away. Terrible defence Australia. Now they're going to ask some questions on the other side. Quick hands required and Nonu, Nonu, Nonu won't need anybody. Ma Nonu. Terrible, terrible defence Australia. And takes it out. Gives it to Cooper. There's the wide ball, and Beal gets on the outside, and he's got Drew Mitchell. He dummies, and then he gives it to Mitchell. Mitchell for the corner! Drew Mitchell! What a try! Drew Mitchell. Oh, I've lost it. Lost it. Not forward. Oh. The mighty All Blacks withstanding the attack and now they go long that's not out this is not over Wallabies have got three back behind the ball Beal's gonna have a crack Beal got on the outside Kirtley Beal pulled down from behind it's on again they're inside the 22 for the All Blacks hold about this time Sharp needs support Drew Mitchell Adam Ashley Cooper's out here calling for it he's got the ball now Adam Ashley Cooper oh. Loves to take them on. There's Advantage. Pe penalty coming. Now it's quite uh, Barnes giving it to Deeper. Almost through Mum. On the Five line. meters out. 
Oh, it's too slow. Full time siren has sounded. Oh, no. He's going to go a yellow card. No, he wants to. Wade Cooper. Oh, no. They just need to settle. Burgess. Burgess. I thought he might have been going for the yellow card, but you no. Know, I think he wanted to. The Wallabies didn't give him a chance. Well, they're flat footed. It's Bill. Oh. Adam Ashley Cooper didn't have anyone on the outside. Now he'll step back on the inside. High tackle. A high shot. <laughs> what a finish. Mitchell. Here's Pocock. All Blacks have made so many tackles. Can they hang in there? Young team to show a bit of patience and they have the courage to keep going. Well, they have and they show poise. Oh, what poise! I can't. Uh, 20 years of age just stepped inside two and smashed the ball down. Oh, and who's going to take this kick? That's Mate, the question. Give it to O'Connor. Why not? It doesn't matter because right at that very moment when he planted the ball down, Australia have said to the All Blacks, we're good enough to go you at your World Cup next year. And the Wallabies win a second half for the first time. There's O'Connor slamming it down. What patience. Kearnsey, there was only a minute and 30 seconds left when Stephen Donald failed to put that kick back into touch after the Wallabies knocked it forward. And Beal had the guts to have a go. Sidestepped two and went back. And from there, the Wallabies have had the ball for the last three minutes, survived three penalties, and then end up with a try on the right-hand side. You remember Blockford Tane? Stephen Donald knows he could have won it for the All Blacks with the penalty attempt not so long ago. Spare a thought for James O'Connor. He does not care. He has ice in his veins, this kid. Look at the size of him. He can sidestep. He can then run through people. It's amazing. 20 years of age. He scored the try. Now, can he win? Let us low four. Will he come? The names of Beal, Eels, Burke, Mortlock. Mortlock. Let's watch it. This to beat New Zealand. Oh, He's good. Yeah, it's down the middle. The drought has been broken. The Wallabies have won a famous test match in Hong Kong. 26 points to 24.